Hey everyone, it's Mari. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I have a really adorable project from Studio Light to share with you today using a bunch of Studio Light products. This is a really adorable little tag book that you could give as a gift, or this actually could even be used and created for some decor for Christmas time or any occasion, but I definitely really do have a Christmas spin on this project today. I'm going to be using one of the essential cutting dies from Studio Light. This is the SL. LES CD39 die set. Here you can just see I'm going to lay out all of the dies from this set on my desk here so that you can see all of the different elements that you can create using this amazing tag set. Uh, super super cute. You could use this for gift cards or you know, a little memory uh, tag book. There's so many fun ways that you could use this die set. And I'm just showing you here the photos on the packaging so that you can see what the intention is for these different dies. There's a really good step-by-step um, -step explanation on the back as well. And this is just showing you here all of the tags in this specific series of dies. Sorry, all of the dies in this series. And of course, this one here, CD39, which is just so adorable. I'm just showing you here out of white cardstock what this looks like when it's all cut and all of the different elements that you can work with with this different die with these different dies. I am not going to be creating my project with white cardstock, but I just wanted to show you here before I get started what the bases of all of these different elements look like when they're cut. Now this is the Essentials paper pad with a Christmas theme. I love these papers. They are so awesome. You get 36 sheets of paper in this pad. This is priced very, very well. And you can see that all of the papers are double sided and they are different um, colors on each side so that um, each side has a color and the back side has a different variation of that color. So really, really cool. Whenever you die cut from this, essentially you get a double piece of um, paper with a different color on each side. So I really love that idea. And I'll show you for a layering reason why I really love that for the project that I'm going to be creating today. I am going to be using this blue paper. I'm going to be using some of the green and the burgundy for my project. You can see that I have cut out some of the little elements here for the pockets and I'm just going to show you how the different colors allow you to layer these up. So I'm going to use the lighter over the darker for the green and I'm going to do the same thing for that burgundy as well and I just love that. This is one of the new Christmas essentials, or I should say one of the new um, Studio Light Scrap uh, series papers. This paper is SLUSC Scrap 66, and this is a series of Christmas themed papers. I will link up to all of these different products in the description box below, but what's really amazing about that paper is that it's a cut apart, and I don't even have all of the pieces here on my table right now. These are just some of the ones I pulled to use, but that one sheet of 12 by 12 paper um, gives you so many embellishments for a project like this. Now I have cut my tag base from some green textured cardstock from my stash. Just love how this looks in this really beautiful deep forest green and I'm just showing you how the little pockets hold a gift card perfectly. I love that. That is so cool. Now I just love how this little tag book folds up. It's so adorable. And now I want to start adhering it uh, together. So these little flaps uh, score when you die cut this piece out. There's little score lines that allow you to, of course, fold the book up, including these little flaps that are created on one of the score lines. I folded them over now and I've put some double-sided adhesive on the flap so that I can go ahead and fold the flap up and get it adhered so that the pockets are created on the inside of this little tag book. So I'm going to take the release paper off of that double-sided adhesive and then fold on the score lines. And once this is folded up, I'm going to burnish down, really press down with my bone folder here on that double-sided adhesive just so that it's really, really stuck and it doesn't come apart. And that's one of the things I love about the double-sided tape, it's really strong. And now that that pocket has been created on the <clears throat> inside of my little tag book, I'm going to decorate the back side. And this part that I'm, this portion that I'm decorating here is the, once the book is all folded up, this is the part that shows on the back of the little tag book. So I'm going to use one of the rectangles in the burgundy paper that I 
created when I die cut that paper out using one of the dies from the set. And I'm going to use some of the little fussy cut pieces from that SLUS C Scrap 66 paper. I love that paper so much. There's just so many different elements that you can use on projects. Now I'm going to pop this piece up on a little bit of foam adhesive so it's just a little bit uh, dimensional. And now I'm going to use this gorgeous Christmas Essentials die. This is SLES CD60. Here you can see all of the dies that are part of this set. Absolutely gorgeous. And these snowflakes are just beautiful when they're all die cut out. So I've cut them from some silver glitter cardstock. You can just see how pretty they are. There's a whole bunch of them. I've cut them out a couple of times. And now I'm taking a bunch of the little die cut pieces again from my scrap paper. And I'm going to, using some foam adhesive, adhere those to the inside of my pocketbook just to decorate the inside. And you could do this in any way. If this is a birthday gift, that you'd like to give for someone if you're going to use this as a gift tag on a package you could use birthday elements here anniversary like just whatever it is that you are celebrating and whatever it is that you're giving this as a gift for so i'm just going to go ahead and use all of those little die cut fussy cut pieces to decorate in here i'm going to use some of the snowflakes and i'm just using foam adhesive and glue dots to adhere these down adding a little bit of dimension as i go not too much the dimensional adhesive that i'm using is a thinner dimensional adhesive i don't want the inside to get too thick because then i will have a problem with folding this up and closing it so it's important not to add too much dimension to the inside of the book. One thing I wanted to mention is you could use the little inserts for these pockets for photos. You definitely could use this as a little memory tag book. If there's a new baby in the family or whatever, you could totally use this as a little memory um, keepsake and give it as a gift as well. So I really love all of the different ways that you could use this. It's very versatile and just a really, really fun little project that you can create super fast too. It doesn't take much time to make this little tag book. So here you can just see I'm folding it up and I love this little flap that closes at the end here to close it up. It's got the stitching, the faux stitching on it. It's so adorable. Now I just have a clip on the side to keep the tag book closed while I do a little more embellishing with the back side. So I wanted to put more of those really pretty little snowflake glittery embellishments to the back here. I'm just using a little bit of glue dot adhesive and my tweezers to get this all decorated up nicely. Really love that little bit of shine that the silver glitter paper adds to my project as well. I think it's really super pretty. And so I get that all finished up and now I'm ready to create the little closure. So I'm going to just take my craft pick and make a little hole in the flap. And there are dies for these little, you can see the little silver glittery piece with the hole in it. That's one of the dies from the die set. I'm using a brad through that little um, silver glitter piece there. And I'm going to put the brad through the hole that I, that I created with my pick. And I'm also going to create the same sort of element on the other side of my front of my tag book there so you can see that I created the exact same type of element across from the other one that's on the flap so that we have two of those little closure elements across from each other in sort of like a horizontal line directly across from each other and now I'm just embellishing this little area as well I put another one of those burgundy pieces of paper and now I'm just going to use more of my snowflakes. I do end up using almost all of the snowflakes that I cut which is super fun. I just think that they're so pretty. I don't think you could ever have too many of these beautiful glittery snowflakes on your project. And I'm just going to go ahead and adhere these down with a little bit of liquid adhesive. Uh, glitter paper sometimes can be difficult to adhere, so I do want to make sure that I'm using an, adhes an adhesive that is nice and strong. Now this is the Merry Christmas sentiment that's part of that Christmas Essentials Die CD60, and I've adhered that onto my tag element, uh, or my tag book as well. This is the little reinforcement element that's also created with one of the dies from the tag die set. I'm going to adhere that on the hole punch hole punched area there on the top of my tag book. 
So I've just got liquid adhesive on both sides of my reinforcement. I'm just going to fold it over so that it covers the hole on the front and the back. So you'll just see me flipping that over and then I'm gonna fold it down and it just nicely adds that really pretty embellishment to the hole on the tag book. And now I can just tie a little bit of twine through there. And this is just some silver sparkly twine. I really love how that finishes it off. And now I'm just going to take that same twine and wrap it around the brads on the, the front closure of the tag. And you can just see here, I'm just pulling up the brad just a little bit so that I can slide that um, silver cord in underneath there. And I'm gonna have to do that on both sides. So I'm just gonna pull that brad up a little bit and wind that around and then that is just going to really nice and tightly close up the little tag book so that it's all ready to open up and reveal all of the little goodies that you have stuffed inside of the pockets whatever that may be however you happen to be using this project so I just love this and I love the fact that that little hole on the top of the tag that's hole punched there allows you to hang this. You could actually even hang these on your Christmas tree. You could tie this on a gift bag. There's so many ways that you can use this. I think this is just a little genius gift idea. So fun and I really love it so much. So I'm gonna just take my scissors and trim off that little bit of extra um, cord there. And there's the little finished tag book. I think it's absolutely adorable. I love how this turns out and it is a really quick thing to produce. So if you wanted to mass produce these, you could cut all of your different elements first and then just really quickly put it together. Now I'm taking some perfect pearls and I'm splattering the outside of the tag book with that little bit of medium. It's really quick and easy to do. It dries really, really fast and it dries back really shimmery. And I thought that was just a really nice finish for my project. Friends, I had so much fun creating this for you. Please make sure you check the links to Ecstasy Crafts in the description box below. Ecstasy Crafts, Crafts carries a full line of studio light products so many fun things there that you can find in the shop including these different products that i have used here today so make sure that you check that out i've also listed a coupon code uh, in the description box as well so you can uh, use that coupon code to shop if you haven't used it before and i had so much fun creating this for you so have an amazing day my friends um love the day and just do something fun today and if you really love to do something crafty get crafty today and make something like one of these little tag books have an amazing day friends take care bye, -bye.